This is the scenic island of Crete in Greece. We were fortunate to travel here as a family recently and we explored the western side of this particular island. It's quite large. We wanted to give you just a couple of quick thoughts about travel to Crete in general and then give you three specific locations that are maybe worth checking out and places that you wouldn't typically see in a video talking about this beautiful island. But before we do that, we want to just show you a quick sampling of some of the places that we explored and that we enjoyed in this intro montage. So we hope that you enjoy. Well, as you can see, Crete is an incredibly beautiful place to visit. We visited in October and during that time of year, the weather was around 15, 16 degrees Celsius in the morning and around 22 or up to even 25 degrees Celsius in the afternoon, which for us coming from Scotland was incredibly beautiful. If you are visiting Crete, one of the things that we'd encourage you to do is if you're comfortable and if you're able to, is to rent a car. You'll see in these few shots coming up here, our rental car and how it enabled us to just pull up at random places like these beaches to stop and to explore. Speaking of exploring, if you're on the western side of Crete, you should definitely check out Henya, the main city on the western side. It's got this beautiful lighthouse and a beautiful harbour. There's restaurants to explore and, and narrow streets that you can go walking down and shops to see in each of those. It's very touristy and, and because it's touristy, we actually stayed out of Henya further west, at least for the first few nights, at this location that you're about to see in this next shot. We like to stay in places that are away from the tourist path and one of the reasons that we do that is because we're a family of five and we don't fit in a typical hotel room. However, having said that, we also enjoy being away from where most tourists are and being able to see the culture. In fact, this is where we stayed the second half of our trip, up in this little village, up on one of the hills. And so, if you're able, we'd encourage you to do something similar to that. Something that's really helpful if you are exploring places off the beaten path or just traveling in general is to use Google Maps. Google Maps actually enables you to download an offline map to use when you don't have coverage on your phone. And so that can be really helpful. Reviews can be helpful too in figuring out the best places to visit. Speaking of places to visit, we want to talk now about three places that maybe don't typically get mentioned in videos talking about the island of Crete. And the first one of those is Lake Cornus. This freshwater lake is more towards central Crete, although it's still on the western side. It's up in the hills, it's a freshwater lake, and it's very beautiful. There definitely are some tourists around, but we felt like it was pretty quiet while we were there and really enjoyed getting to stay. It was just a little bit of a different feel up amongst the olive trees and the olive plantations where they grow all the olive oil in this part of the world. You'll see those all over the island. The next place that we would bring to your attention is Falasanara Beach. In fact, it was a beach just south of Falasanara Beach that we really enjoyed which these shots were taken from. We went to Falasanara Beach when we first arrived and then a few days later we came back and we found this beach just two bays south. It doesn't even have a name on Google Maps. But we were just looking on the map and we found this spot and it was beautiful because again, we just had the beach to ourselves. We, we pulled up and we were there and we just very much enjoyed playing and exploring. The kids dug sandcastles. It was just a very beautiful place to visit. And so if you're looking for this particular beach, you can see in this shot, Falasanara Beach further north and then just two bays to the south down the road that leads to the south, you'll find this little beach right beside the road that we very much enjoyed checking out. Another place that we really enjoyed is Kedradasos Beach. But there's a little bit of backstory here. See the beach in the distance here at the top of the shot? That's Elephanisi Beach. That's the very famous beach that everybody talks about. It's the one that's world famous, the, the Cretan beach that everybody goes to visit. Well, we went to visit. It's on the very southwestern corner of the island and so we drove on the very windy mountain pass across to this beach and we got there and it was beautiful but there were the little grass huts set up everywhere the shade huts and and the sunbeds laid out everywhere and, and quite a number of tourists even though it was october 
And then as the wind started to pick up, we were like, okay, let's move on and see if we can find something else. And so we're like, hey, let's go check out this place that we found on Google Maps. And so we took this little dirt road across to this car park in the middle of nowhere. And in this car park, there were goats walking around randomly. And so we walked from that down a very steep and rocky trail out through the trees, wondering if this was gonna be worth our while. And then we popped out onto this beach, which you can see, absolutely, it was worth our while. Kedradasos Beach is incredible. And we really felt like, yeah, there were some other, a few other people around, but we really felt like we had the beach to ourselves. And we so enjoyed just relaxing, enjoying, taking in the sun, taking in all the scenery in this particular location. And so for us, this is the type of thing that we like to do. This was my personal favorite place that we visited during our whole trip to the island of Crete. Well, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Maybe you're looking at going to Crete yourself and, and this will be helpful as you try and figure out where you need to go and what you need to do. Or maybe you've just enjoyed looking at Crete through our eyes. Either way, we hope that this video has been helpful and that you've enjoyed it. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing exploring wise, that you get out and enjoy this incredibly beautiful world that we live in. Thanks for watching. We'll hope to catch you in our next video. All the best for now. Bye.